Yeah. 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 Ooh, fucking hell. So it turns out that crash bars are like gold dust and I completely underestimated how difficult it would be to find another crash bar but alas we have found one anyway. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be more of a chilled out, a bit more of a, a laid back video. What I normally try to do with videos is I try to do uh, multiple things if I can to make it a bit more interesting to watch. But today's video we're just not going to do that because this video is focused on this one task. That's it. So if you remember from the previous Mark III video I had a bit of an issue with the tow bar and I was asking you guys advice on how to remove the wiring and you guys have been incredibly helpful so I really do appreciate it. I've got a couple of ideas on how to tackle that so um, I'm going to use your advice going forward with removing the tow bar wiring. But obviously to remove the tow bar as I said I need to replace it with a crash bar which at the time I thought would be really easy to find a replacement but it turns out actually it's quite difficult to find um, a tow bar <laughs> a tow bar to find a crash bar that um, someone will actually one post to you and two they've kept the original nuts uh, the original nuts yeah. I'm a child the original nuts to secure it to the back of the car but luckily I managed to obtain one it did take me about a week and a half to actually find someone who uh, had the whole lot so that's the plan for today we're going to uh, remove the tow bar and we're going to fit this crash bar but also just added on top of that um, the crash bar, because it's second hand, it's a little bit crusty. I do want to add a lick of paint to make it look a little bit nicer. Obviously, I'm not going to ever be able to see that when it's painted, but I'll just know that psychologically it's nice and good underneath. So let me show you uh, the crash bar I've got quickly. So this is the crash bar that I managed to obtain. Obviously, there really isn't much to show. It's crash bar. How exciting. But obviously, it comes with this bag, which is like gold dust to find the original nuts to secure it. But obviously, because it's second hand, it's, um, you know, it's rusty. It's seen better days, but it's still strong and dependable because it survives the knock test and this rust is only surface rust. So what I want to do today, before I go anywhere near a tow bar or anything like that, is I want to get a wire wheel, just go over the whole surface, get rid of all this surface rust as best I can. A bit of primer, a bit of paint, a bit of gloss, a bit of uh, overcoat, undercoat, whatever bloody hell you call it and just, you know, make it look a little bit nicer and just hopefully this rust um, will be at kept at bay for a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is obviously I'm not going to talk through how to paint and how to do all this thing. I'm literally just going to chuck on a time lapse of me painting through this and then I'll cut back to when um, we're ready to install it. So let's get on with removing all this rust. So, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Now, where I left off in the last video, obviously you saw me putting the base coat on this crash bar. Now, I've put a little bit of clear coat on it and it looks okay. You know, it's not perfect. It's, um, 
certainly still a bit rusty underneath but it's far better than what it was when I showed you earlier. But before we can put on this lovely shiny new piece of crash bar, we've still got to remove this tow bar. So we've got two options that um, were most common when uh, in the last video that you guys suggested. Now the first suggestion was uh, unclip everything for the tow bar and put some electrical tape on and pray that it all is disconnected correctly. Now that is a good idea. Um, and it means all the wiring will be gone completely from the car and I won't have to stress about it at all. However, it's not preferable at the moment. But what some other people have suggested is to disconnect the wiring from down here at the bottom and just wrap it against the crash bar because it's going to be hidden behind the bumper anyway. So why not just do that? So I've got to see if I can disconnect it from the, uh, the hitch point down there. And if I can disconnect it from there, then it's just going to get wrapped around the crash bar and we're gonna be done with it and just forget about it. So let's see what we can do. So we've had a slight change of plan. The bolts to remove that bit that I was literally just talking about are so rusty that they're just not doing anything. So I'm going to give in and we're going to do the wire removal as the the, the second option. We're going to do the, the, the wire removal. <laughs> um, like I said, a little bit apprehensive, but I'll just take my time with that. I'm going to stick a time lapse on. I'm not going to film literally every wire. Uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. So as you can see from here, I've managed to remove all of the uh, original tow wires, obviously I'm not sure if it'll come up on camera, but I've obviously gone through, put electrical tape on all the ones that had a little bit of a crimp. It's not perfect, but it's a damn sight better and a damn sight cleaner than it looked before. I've um, snipped off the ends and I've pulled it through the wire grommet, and now we have the, uh, the cable disconnected. So the only thing I need to double check is obviously because I've disconnected a bunch of wires, will this rear light and everything uh, electrically still work? What's because I've now this is it now. I've you know <laughs> I've I've chopped off all the wires, so this is what's going to happen. Um, so come with me as we discover whether I've made a huge mistake or whether everything's good. Yeah. Now obviously I couldn't see the brake pedal light come on but I'm sure I'll see it while it's editing and I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments but it all works. Happy days. So with that success it's now time to actually get rid of the sodding tow bar. It's been like two weeks since I last made that video or however long it's been so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cable ties that are holding the cable in. That's the easy bit. Now the difficult bit is obviously there's two bolts under here and there's two bolts under here holding this tow bar on. Now because this car's 25 years old, I don't know how long this has been on here for, but bolts are crusty, really crusty. Now I've got my gun because um, I'm taking no prisoners with these bolts. I don't care if they snap off because at the end of the day the tow bar's still going to come out. Hopefully. I think this could be a bit of a fight so let's get on with it. Snip, snip. I like this bit, this bit's easy. It's like the calm before the storm. Snip. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough leverage on this. Wish me luck. Or it will just come undone. Of course it will. It's because I'm so bloody strong, that's why. It's a good thing I'm wearing like some of the best clothes I have. Ow! 
my head. <laughs> Ow. Ah, that hit me right on the head. Should have thought about that, really. Fuck you. <laughs> that was like a final little uh, fuck you, wasn't it? Ah, right on the head. So we've got the rear crash bar all installed. Now it's not a perfect fit. Now the crash bar itself is completely straight and that's not the issue. I think what the issue is, I think this car has had either an accident or this bodywork has just sort of given up over time in this area because that bolt uh, down there does not line up with the holes as well as all the other ones do. So as much as I've tried to manipulate it to make it fit, it um, it doesn't line up, so we've only got three bolts holding the crash bar on, but I can't imagine that's going to make any difference. Like, at the end of the day, I have a crash bar on the back of it rather than um, running nothing at all, so that's good. And it's strong, like I'm pulling that with all my force, and there's no budging in that, so it's what we wanted. And it looks quite nice because, you know, I've given it a lick of paint. So what we're going to do now is once... Now that's all installed, I want to put the rear bumper on. I've already, as you can see up there, put all the... Uh, plastics and first aid kit back together. Um, I'm just going to put the rear bumper on and we should see how it looks. It'll probably just look like a rear Mark III without a tow bar, but yeah. So let's get on with that. That's what we like to see. I'll step back a little bit. I mean, what else were we going to expect, let's be honest. The tow bar is gone. Now, obviously because this tow bar was fitted, I don't know if it's shown on camera there, you can see there, they've cut out a little notch in the rear of it. Now, for some reason, uh, that's not detachable, that bit. So, yeah, we'll deal with this at another point. But for now, yes, that's what we like to see. That is so much better. Obviously, I know that it's, you know, it still needs a lot more work, this car, but just to have that tow bar gone, it makes the back just look so much cleaner. Like I said, when I work on cars or I modify cars, I try to make them look uh, as clean as possible. Um, just simple, but modified at the same time. So that looks so much better, <laughs> honestly. That was certainly worth the, the stress and the, the time put into it. Yeah, well happy. So, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. As you can tell, this looks so much better, well, at least in my opinion. And like I said, this was the only thing that I really wanted to get done today. I really wanted to get this tow bar done because it was on my mind constantly. And the tow bar put up a fight. It hit me on the back of the head on the way out. So, <laughs> I probably should have moved my head out of the way. That is really heavy. So, you know, it made a sizable dent in the back of my head. But this looks so much better. It is a little bit dirty, so it doesn't look 100%, but... If you made it to the end of this video, I really do appreciate it because um, it's not the most exciting thing to watch. But with that being said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Um, there will be some more exciting stuff coming up soon. Trust me, I've ordered some stuff. It's actually turning up in an hour, so that'll be exciting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Safety first.